Guys, welcome back. We're getting set up here. Today's video, Ashley is working on her putting so she can reclaim the title of world's greatest putter. She's been slipping, but I think the title is still within reach. But today's main focus is the worst rated golf ball on Amazon. He's got some pretty harsh reviews. They're kind of expensive, so I'm uh, excited to try them out. We got the launch monitor, and we're going to compare them to the cheapest golf balls on Amazon. We tested those out last week, and they were pretty dang good. So worst rated golf ball that are pretty expensive versus the cheapest golf ball. We're gonna test them out. Sound fun? Sounds fun. All right, we'll meet you out on the course. Let's read some of the uh, reviews. Ashley's got another treat for us. I'm not as excited about this test because I just realized we only have three of these. Yeah, we had a dozen for the cheapest golf balls. Now we got kind of expensive ones, so hopefully we don't hit any in the water. Yeah, but... I'm gonna try my hardest not to hit it out of bounds. So. <laughs> yeah. But the driving range was full, so we're actually gonna warm up on the first hole and then whip out the stats and get some good numbers. Yeah, we'll whip out the launch monitor on the second hole. We got 395 yards, and I'm trying to go over that tree. We've said that like 400 times. Always going over that tree. <laughs> I'm still fighting that weak shot to the right. I've kind of figured out what is going on. I'm losing my spine angle through the shot. We're gonna try and work on that today. Ashley's working on her putting. I'm working on the full game. If we ever combine to be uh, good on the same day, you guys are gonna watch out because all we do is play scrambles, yep. which we're doing again today while we're testing out the worst rated golf ball on Amazon, Ashley's tees. Are you gonna try and bomb one over the tree this time? Let's go over the tree. Yeah, every single time. <laughs> you guys are gonna get uh, very tired of us saying that because we're gonna play here a lot. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's see if she can do it today. Mine's over there just short of that bunker. Ashley's gonna rip one down the middle of the fairway for us. Oh, we're definitely playing a scramble because they're right next to each other. We've played a few rounds now with the cheapest golf ball on Amazon. Well, in terms of shots, not in terms of, we haven't played any rounds yet, but uh, we've hit a ton of shots with them. And afterwards, you still can't tell if they've ever been hit. The durability on them is crazy. Ashley's knocked some off some trees. You couldn't tell anything, Ooh. but yeah. 160 yards left. Ashley's going with the trusty three wood. I'm glad we're not testing out the golf balls yet because one of us is probably going to hit it in the water there over to the left. Looks like there's more I need to work on today than just my putting, but I need to rely on John for this shot. Roll. Roll. Yeah, even if I tried, I would have made it there. So Chunky. All right, that's gonna be a challenging putt. Are you going with the KRS-1 putter? Yep. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we've done three videos and there's like, we'll just uh, spare you it, but we've had to do so many outtakes. Gotta keep on saying KRS-1, who's a old time rapper. And I keep on messing up with the putter, but you going with the uh, TP Mills or the, uh, the Costco putter? Costco putter. <laughs> You're going with the Costco putter? Okay. 45 feet up a slope and uphill pretty much the entire way, breaking to our left. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, man. We're gonna have a battle to see who gets to keep this putter. Things are starting to get back to normal. We're taking John's long shots and my putts finally. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that's enough warm up. We're gonna whip out the cheapest, no, the worst rated worst. golf ball on Amazon. Get some numbers on it. You excited? Uh, yeah, this is a par three, so I should be good not yeah, to lose it. Hopefully we don't lose the ball on this one. Yeah. All right, let's do a quick unboxing right in the middle of the course. These are the Golf Jet 4 sleeves here. You can open them while I read some of the reviews. It's got two reviews and they're both one star. So usually Amazon sellers will get like their friends to review it. So I don't know what's going on. This guy doesn't have uh, any friends or even his friends don't like Aww. the golf ball. You know, open it. Oh, that thing looks fancy. Yeah, that's why I was waiting. Golf Jet, that's like an Apple product or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's check that out. That looks pretty. Alright, it's already got some scuffs on it. Yeah, this marking's already messed up too. Yeah, well, it doesn't, that might not uh, affect the performance, so let's give them a fair try. Let's read some of the uh, reviews. The outer coating ripped only after the second hole, and this one I think is in Italian, so I'll let you read it. I don't know what that <laughs> says, but we got 194 yards. I'm probably going with a 5 iron. Let's see if we can't pull one close. Five star for the box. Yeah, the box is definitely five <laughs> stars. Looks better than the Wilson, but we'll see how it plays. Carry is 175.7 yards. I thought I hit that one pretty good, but we definitely came up short. 175 yards, 4,600 spin, ball speed 122. 
Maybe I should have hit a foreign or maybe the ball doesn't go far. We'll, we'll definitely get some numbers and compare it to the Wilson. Uh, on the last hole, we can just hit bombs with drivers and see which one is longer. But uh, Ashley's got about 106 yards. Are you going with six? Probably six. Six iron. Oh. Carry is 99.9 yards. Roll up Red. there. Dang, we might be taking your long shot and putt on this one. Good thing I hit that good because it was actually from the white tee, so... Yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> yeah. John, however, his shot, he has no excuses. So we might actually be taking my long shot and my putt. Yeah, we, we had almost the exact same spin rate. Huh. You carried that 99.9 .9 yards. Almost 100. Almost 100. A I mean, plus. <laughs> here's where mine ended up just short of the green. We're going to take Ashley's, though. Green in regulation. Yay! <laughs> Go, go, go. Oh, that would have been a legitimate birdie. That was right in, but it's just short. Looks like we're going for par. Snuck out of there with a par. This is Ashley's ball right here, the number six. Already got a scuff on it. What'd you hit? A six, six. iron? Yep. I don't know, man. That's, that's pretty, uh, <laughs> not very durable so far, but let's see. We got a super tight par five right here. I'm nervous to hit this golf yeah. ball on this hole because I don't want to lose one. But uh, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. I might have another tree test for me though, durability. Yeah, we're, we're gonna find it no matter what. It just might take us a long yeah. time. <laughs> 495 yards. I can tell John's nervous, but he's still going with the driver. Carry is 239.2 yards. Well, I guess we're testing durability. We're definitely giving it a test of durability because I hit it right through that tree. So we're gonna see a lot of marks on it probably. Take a look at the numbers while we walk to Ashley's T239 carry, 1900 spin. Uh, those are pretty good. Club head speed is down, but that has nothing to do with the old golf ball. And I think mine is pretty much even with the ladies. It's a little bit further than the ladies tees, but uh, pretty much any, if you get the ball moving forward, we're gonna take yours for our little scramble. Yeah. Carry is 110.9 yards. Ready. Definitely taking your drive. <laughs> We're definitely taking Ashley's drive on that one. Let's take a look at the numbers. 3,000 spin, 110 carry. I thought you hit that pretty well, but you hit your six iron 100, and, yeah, 100 yards. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. We're gonna play uh, not the next hole, but the hole after that is a wide open, drivable par four. So it, uh, the trees aren't overhanging and I won't hit them. We'll get some good numbers on it. We'll hit a bunch of different golf balls. What are you doing? Oh, my golf ball is all the way back there. Yeah, those are the trees that are overhanging that I always complain about. And even if you hit this fairway, it like bounces off into the woods, so it's a pretty difficult hole. That's my excuse for today, but definitely taking Ashley's drive. Oh, let's take a look at that golf ball. Yeah. Is it all uh, messed up? Ready. Um, a little bit, but that's not as bad as I thought no, it would be. No, I thought it was going to be really scuffed up. Yeah. All right, we got water on the right. I'm going to try and go for it still. Yeah. Oh, no, we're way far back. I thought we were further up. We're going to... Uh, that's okay. still pretty good for me. Yeah, that's crushed for you. That's not what I was getting at. I'm, no. I'm just not able to reach it in two from here. We'll uh, leave ourselves a good yardage for a wedge and get some numbers on the, the old wedge. See, you just took the water almost out of play. Yeah, now I'm going to shank one into the water. <laughs> 270 yards outside my range. Ashley's going with a six iron. Oh. Carry is 96.9 yards. You are, you are hitting the irons good yeah. today. Carry is 144.0 yards. If I can just hit my six iron 100 yards every time, it just might be my only club in the bag. I'll just putt with it too, yeah. so. Six iron, six iron, six. You gotta have the uh, square strike in there. Yeah, otherwise we're six, 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 too. Yeah, you don't wanna do that. No. <laughs> square strike, six iron, good to go. Yeah, I think we're gonna have 110 yards left. We gotta make a birdie. Do we, yeah. make a, we haven't made a birdie yet? No, I think we've just parred. Yeah, that's, that's not what we're looking for. No. Maybe I should putt with my six iron. <laughs> I'm gonna let John go first, so hopefully he can hit one on the green and I don't have to risk going in the water. Carry is 124.2 yards. Yep, I think we're good with yours. I hit the square strike with that one. It went the correct distance, but it only spun 5,663. That's hilarious. I know, that's the square strike, not the ball, but it's so much easier to hit that because I always overspin my wedges and they start floating to the right, but square strike full shots, do whatever works. <laughs> you gotta do what works, guys. Let's go see if we, what's that for, birdie? Yep. All right, we're gonna go try and make a birdie here, then we're gonna do some wedge testing on the next hole. 30 feet uphill, breaking a little to the right. John's up there, just give me the line. We all know he's not gonna make it. 
Trash talk is back. <laughs> Maybe it'll help my putting. I thought that one was in. Oh, that's in. That's in. No. Oh, man, that broke way more than mine. We're going to have to play that last putt back in slow motion because I think I almost topped it. Still no birdies. We're moving on to the 100 yard test. I'm going to hit two with the uh, golf. Uh, was golf jet. Golf jet. I think it's a golf jet flight four or something like that. And then we're going to hit two at the Wilson, see which one spins more. Then we're moving on to the long drive competition. Because we won't have to worry about losing them then. Yeah, hopefully we don't lose any on this uh, little wedge test. If we do, then that's... <laughs> we should just go home. <laughs> yeah, we should just go home. But 100 yards, let's get some close. Not sure what he's hitting it close to because I just took out the flag, but I'm assuming he's aiming at the middle. Yep. Carry is 92.7 yards. Ready. All right, I forgot to tell the Mevo to uh, scream out the spin. The last one was 8,400. It should tell you the spin this time. Spin is 8,396 revolutions per minute. All right, so both the golf jets were right around 8,400. Let's see what the Wilsons are. Spin is 6,794 revolutions per minute. Spin is 6,858 revolutions per minute. A little bit downwind today, so I don't think these are gonna spin as much. The Golf Jets both spun around 8,400, which is pretty good. And then the Wilsons were down by like 7,000. The last time we tried them out, they were like 8,300 or something like that. So maybe being downwind kept the spin up a little bit. They all basically stopped where they landed. You can see all of them. I don't know if you can see the ball marks, but none of them spun back or anything like that. So neither of them spun a ton, neither of them spun a little, so. That's that. Let's do the uh, long drive competition. Yeah, now that we have no uh, consequences. Yeah, now we have no <laughs> consequences of losing one. Long drive coming up. All right, we got lazy. We just walked back to the same tee box. Ashley is going to hit two for us, going with the Wilson first. Carry is 114.6 yards. That was pretty dang good. All right, let's see what the uh, numbers are with the golf jet. Number four. <laughs> oh. I meant the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> she is playing a golf jet number four, just in case we were wondering. <laughs> Carry is 111.4 yards. All right, let's take a look at Ashley's numbers. Did you hit those good? Yeah, I was happy with both of those. Yeah, let's see. Uh, club head speed's only four miles an hour different. Spin, it's like a thousand different. Let's see what the actual, there's only three yards difference of carry though for all those different <laughs> numbers. That. Yeah, I take that dispersion rate too. All right, I'm gonna hit four. Hopefully I can hit two good with each of them. And then uh, yeah, that'll be it. See where they end up. So many bugs out here. <laughs> if it looks like John's taking a different line, it's because he is. This is actually a drivable par four for him. He's going up with a golf jet first. Carry is 236.5 yards. What was the spin on that? Uh, spin was 2,401. That's pretty good. <laughs> do, do, do. I'll put it back. Yeah. Carry is 238.7 yards. All right, let's check out the numbers right here. Carry is only about two yards difference. A lot of similar numbers here. Spin's about 300 off, but I think I hit the second one a little bit thin, so it probably brought the spin up a little bit. Let's see if I can't hit two really good now. Carry is 240.4 yards. Carry is 238.5 yards. Ashley definitely won the accuracy part of the uh, long drive competition. I don't think any of mine were in the grid. Two of them hit off those trees, but round one, the stats are pretty similar. And then round two, they're pretty similar. Here's the two that made it over the tree. Here's one right here. And then one dead even with it, but way over there is a golf jet. And then this one over here is a Wilson. Let's go uh, take a look at the numbers. We'll meet you back at the house and give a little roundup. All right, we're gonna take a look at the numbers. Ashley's got another treat for us. Those look pretty interesting, what we got? Falafel. Oh, nice. I love falafel. All right, let's take a quick look at the stats while that stuff cools down for us. It is looking delicious. I'm excited about this meal. I'm excited about all of her meals, but this one in particular. Uh, ball speed off those four drives, not that big of a difference. Spin, not that big of a difference. I wasn't hitting the ball very well today, if you couldn't notice. Club head speed was down. Not really a day I would want to get custom fit on. Speaking of custom fitting, I definitely need to get a custom fit shirt more so than clubs. That thing was fitting like an absolute dress. 
Not sure what was going on there. We just ordered it that day, so I didn't try it on beforehand. But enough about my clothes. All right, uh, 1500 RPM difference off the wedges. That's a pretty significant one. So definitely spun a little bit more off full wedges. And I chipped a few afterwards, and it spun a little bit more around the green. Let's take a look at the durability packaging now. What do you say, Ash? Five out of five. Five out of five on the packaging. This looks pretty, pretty dang sick. I'm. I think it comes in like a dozen too. I don't wonder how they put the uh, these three sleeves in there or four sleeves. Math's not my strong suit. A uh, little bit of a cut right there. That's not terrible. I did hit some wedge shots with it, so that's to be expected. I think this is the one that I hit off the tree, so not terrible there. Overall, though, golf ball definitely not worthy of the title of. Uh, oh, let, let's check out the food and ask Ashley her opinion first before I get my overview or review done. Sound good? What do you think of the golf ball? I don't think it was worthy of such harsh reviews. That's yeah. why I almost want to give it a four out of five just to like help it out. Yeah, I think four out of five is fair. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get all of this uh, prepared yeah, and then give. Just a yeah, we'll get to do a little taste test in the uh, final review. All right, guys, we got us a feast right here. This looks good. A nice falafel sandwich. Got some fresh cucumber. Extra messy. Extra messy. It's the only way to eat them. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> That is really, really good. Nice. Got I'm some hummus, tzatziki, cucumber, onion. That's good. Overall, golf ball definitely not worthy of the worst rated uh, title, but is that the worst or the worst rated uh, meal you've ever eaten? No, this is delicious. I'm gonna uh, eat this whole thing. I might try and uh, steal yours too. But <laughs> hopefully, you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.